hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we have a new update for oneplus 6 which is in the form of hydrogen os open beta 3 previously we had open beta 1 and open beta 2 with very less bugs available now they have also released the open beta 3 for oneplus 6 and these are the change logs what they have mentioned over here the update size is 154 mb if you are running hydrogen os open beta 2 then you should receive an ota update if you are running Oxygen OS then you need to download the complete zip file and which you can flash it using stock recovery or any custom recovery available on your device. So now let's download this update and install it. Once it is done I'll get back to you guys and also we'll take a look on installing Google App Package because this Hydrogen OS doesn't come with Google Play Store so you need to manually install that. So I've already updated my device now let me show you the software information going to settings about phone and here you can see Hydrogen OS Open Beta 3 under Android version, Android version is Android 9.0 which is Android Pie with a security patch of 5th September 2018 and the build date is 38-2018 and these are the change logs available here which is only related to launcher which says fix app display issues in the recents yes there was an issue in the recents few of the apps were completely in black color and now they have fixed as you can see all the apps are available in the recents and which are easily seen after that they say fix issue with opening apps of hidden space section which used to open accidentally in the app drawer so normally i don't use hidden space but let me show you if you guys are not aware about hidden space when you open up app drawer you just need to swipe towards your right hand side and this will give you an option of hidden space where you can add the applications which you want to hide and those applications won't be seen in the app drawer under this they have fixed accidental open of applications and the last change log is general bug fixes and improvement so only these many changes they have done with this hydrogen os open beta 3 now let's take a look at the launcher going to home settings about and here launcher version is 3.0 so there is no update with the launcher swiping towards the right hand side will open up shelf where you have the weather info if you want you can add memo and if you want to customize the shelf you can just do it by pressing this add icon Camera have no issues, we have all other options like slow motion, pro mode, time lap, front and back portrait. Now let's go inside the settings, here no issues with the Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth, NFC and casting is working fine under display. Then we have screen calibration under which RGB, DCI, P3, adaptive mode and custom colors are available. From here you can also hide the notch by selecting the hide notch area. Ambient display still doesn't have always on display option on this. Under themes we have three themes available one is the colorful, light and dark. Navigation bar and gestures consist of three options now if you want you can choose the navigation bar on the home screen or else you can just choose the back button and the home button which is similar to pixel devices. And the last one here is navigation gestures that is full screen gestures you can use any of these but i prefer to use the second one that is back and home which looks pretty cool under battery section we can find options like battery optimization under advanced optimizations we have sleep standby optimizations and advanced optimization utilities consist of gaming mode parallel app app locker pocket mode and oneplus switch so guys if you are looking for android p on your oneplus 6 i would highly recommend this hydrogen os only one drawback this does not come with the google play store to install google play store what you need to do is you need to download an apk file which i'll mention in the description below so as you can see i have the apk file that is google play store apk file just install this login with your google account open up play store and to sync contacts you need to download the google contact application just download this application and give permissions. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results. With Geekbench application, single core scores 2352 wherein multi core scores 8769, which is slightly higher than the previous update. Now going with the Antutu Bench application, under these results are 2,92,060, which is around 6,000 higher than the previous update that was Open Beta 2. So guys these are the things available with this update and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day